Are you game enough to try door number three? The door is locked. A bull's head has been painted on the manager's office door. Yeah? Pammy sent me. Stop into my office. What are you after, boy? Either you're seeing triple, or these three are part of Lou's rent two, get one free deal. It's a novel, a fairly graphic one at that. A large, self-idolizing portrait adorns the wall of Lou's office. The time-honored method of choosing from unchoosables. A pile of Lou's favorite magazines are lying on the nearby bench. Lou Heffer manages the hospitality house. His air of casual authority is well earned, with every male in town owing him for past unpaid pleasures. I'm after a job. Hand will cost you five dollars. That's not what I meant. Right, hand will be... You don't understand. I think I do. A whole job will send you back... Stop, please. I'm asking if I can have a job. You know, uh, work for you? Hmm, we are short of staff, especially now Pammy's left. Uh, so is that a yes? Look, personally, I don't care, but the customers, they prefer their women more female-like. Oh. On the other hand, you don't look all that masculine either. Tell you what, as long as you can fool the guys and they're happy, then sure, you can work here. You mean I have to dress up as a woman? Sure, ain't no big deal. The rooms are all softly lit. The clients can't hardly see nothing. As long as you got yourself a dress, a decent hairdo, some makeup, and the right equipment up top, it shouldn't be a problem. And you might want to keep it tucked under, just in case. What can you tell me about the hospitality house? I run the joint. My girls work hard and they're paid well. Enough. What kind of clientele do you get in here? All kinds. Haven't heard any complaints yet. So, who comes here? There's something you have to learn about this place. You don't let on about who you recognize coming through those doors. Naturally, the whole town knows who comes and goes here, but it's the principle of the thing. People have their right to discretion, even if it's not genuine. So when can I start work here? Today, so long as you're appropriately attired. Can you tell me again what I need? Sure thing, listen up. A nice dress, a decent pair of melons, some makeup, and some hair up top. I usually hire blondes, but I'd be willing to go for a redhead. You don't need any private time. There's not much of a selection here, but that green and blue number catches your eye. While that would be a fine choice, you... It's too far away. You can't reach it.
A multitude of melons is piled here. Sorry, Al, I can't be distracted. I have to keep watch. Mind if I grab your melons, Pammy? Course. It's like the least I can do for the sunscreen. Make sure you get a good grip on them. Yes, ma'am. You take two of the roundest melons you can find. The postcards depict scenes from all over Anazira and are inscribed with having a wonderful time, wish you were here, and other false phrases. The latest outlaw at large. He looks kind of like your cousin. An arrogant looking teenager with a severe case of the squeezies sits at the counter of the post office. With all its quality furnishings, the post office may make a great antique shop if it's still standing in a hundred years. Hi. Yeah, you look it. I'm Alamo. Was that supposed to be funny? No, it's my name. That's too bad. And you are? Rick Springer the Eighth. Wow. You should be impressed, loser. Having a bad day? No, I was having a great day till you walked in. I'd almost cracked the Federal Misinformation Database, but now you've interrupted me. Oh, well, sorry. You can apologize by leaving. Do you get out much? Why would I want to? I have everything I need right here. All I see is a telegraph machine and some highly technical nerdy magazines. Those nerdy magazines are the most intellectually riveting subject you could imagine. Cryptography. Cryptography? Isn't that something to do with tombs? That's cryptology, you half-witted four-eyed cretin. Cryptography is the science of codes. Oh. Figures, you don't look very clever. Just like the rest of this uncouth, imbecilic population. With an attitude like that, I'd be surprised if you had any friends at all. I don't need friends. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. I'll have you know that this nerd will one day invent a cryptographic machine so brilliant I'll be able to decipher any given code within a matter of seconds. I'll call it Cryptomax. With it, I'll climb the rungs of the Federal United Post Cryptography Department. What would I need with friends when I'm filthy rich? I suppose you have a point. Of course I do. Never argue with someone ten times smarter than the average human being or a hundred times in present company. You must see a lot of mail come through here. I hope you didn't burn too many brain cells up on that one. You'd know a lot about what goes on around here. Are you suggesting that I look through people's mail? That's an offense. Not at all, but a clever guy like you wouldn't miss much. I don't miss anything. Of course not. I bet you know tons about everyone in town. You got that right. You'd even have something on the mayor. Yeah, like his subscription to Mails for Men Monthly Magazine. Exactly. I know stuff about everyone in this town. All that knowledge. I just wouldn't be able to keep up with you. You're learning your place at last. Good. We all have to do that, Rick. Each and every one of us. Hey, Rick, would you like a banana? Yeah, I like... Hey! Of course you like bananas. Don't say it. Because you're a real monkey boy. 
Get out! So, Rick, how do you like your first job? First job? This will be my only job. After this, I'll become excruciatingly wealthy. You'll see. Yeah, just remember, Bubba likes his shoes shined with that extra bit of spit. Get out! Tell me, Rick, do you think that money can buy you happiness? It can buy whatever I'll need. Even for ugly guys? Once I can afford a makeover, why you get out? Obviously, your mind has stalled. That must happen a lot. That confirms it. What? Your mental capacity is equivalent to a four-year-old's. I'll have you know I was a pretty smart four-year-old. That must have been the extent of your development. It's for... You flip through the magazine's pages and notice an advertisement for a free sample of cosmetic makeup. It has a postage page stamp affixed and is ready to be sent out. You tear out the page! Why are you showing me that? This ad offers a great range of skin care solutions. They'd be particularly good for someone of your uh, complexion. I hate you! It was a joke, kid. Sort of. Anyway, would you mind mailing this out for me? Oh, if it'll get you out of my sight faster. Thanks. You'd better be thankful. I could easily let the entire town know about your fetish for women's makeup. Here's your stupid letter. Don't expect me to do any more of your menial footwork, you peon. Now go put it in the postal slot and leave me alone. Hopefully my package will arrive before the next train. The fed-up postal worker works hard to live up to his company's name. Is it a man? Is it a woman? Will we find out? Stay tuned! You Alamo? Yeah? I'm from Fed Up, the Federal United Post. Here's your package. Hey, you could have broken that. You forgot to pay for postage and handling. You're lucky it's wrapped, Miss M.O. It is but dust. You unwrap the package. It's the makeup kit you've always wanted. Hey! Hi again. Oh, hello. I've been meaning to ask you, are you still, you know, technically male? I'm not male. I was just born that way. That explains your big... What can I say? Size does matter. Even if mine was big, I bet my voice would still be squeaky. Don't worry, hon. There's more to a man than his Adam's apple. Uh. Is something wrong? I'm a failure. No, you're not. I didn't mean offense back at the saloon. It's just that men aren't my thing. That's what they all say, but I'm still a failure. I've been peddling my wares for weeks, and the only business I've been getting is from the me- Well, it doesn't matter anyway. 
I'm through with this line of work. Have you tried the hospitality house? They won't let me in. Even with my glamorous outfit, stunning wig, cosmetic skill, and the most expensive silicone, I'm just not womanly enough. They say that inside every man is a woman screaming to get out. Oh, you're a dear, but I've just got to face facts. In this competitive industry, a sensitive soul like myself has no place. I don't cut it as a drag queen. Uh, sometimes I wonder if I should ever have left my first job. What was it? Hairdresser? Beautician? Fashion designer? Construction worker. But I don't have any tools. I was wondering... Wonder no more, hon. When you became a, um... Sensuous woman. Do you think it was natural? As opposed to what? We all have to discover that special someone inside of us, Al. Can you feel your special someone bursting to get out? Not really. You'll meet him someday, if you're very lucky. He will turn out to be she. Can't wait. Do you trade fashion tips with your mother? Of course, and with my two sisters. You must get along well with them. I do, though it wasn't easy at first, growing up with a father and two brothers. I thought you said you had sisters. They're my sisters now, as my mother used to say when she was my father. Change is good for a family. I enjoy chatting with you, Al. You say so little in so many words. Haven't got any tools, have you? Why, thank you, darling. This is just what I need to get me started. Guess I won't be needing this old thing anymore. See ya, hon. Can I help you, madam? Lou, it's me, Al. Step into my office. Uh, how do I look? Like a ravaged drag queen who's been run over by a carriage. You'll do fine for who you're for. Speaking of which, your first job's in room three. Here's the key. The guy's been waiting for hours. None of my real girls will go near him. I hope he's not in a bad mood. He'll be in the mood, so long as you put on and put out. Don't disappoint now. Go get him, Tigress. Ow! Oh, look, we're coming up on halftime. If you don't mind, I think I'll take my coffee break now. What? See ya. Oh, great. It's about time. Get to work, girl. I want the whole job this time. Don't go skipping spots like those other tramps have been doing. Creep. I prefer women who have no capacity for thought. Do not disappoint me. 
I'll say this much for Lou. He knows what he likes. That's right. All the way along, right to the end, that's it. Ah, work that small thing, baby, work it. Oh, yeah. Now rub the tip. Ooh. <laughs> Move on to the next one. Ah, leave the big toe until last. Don't stop now, woman. I paid good money for this. You're so strong, handsome, and mysterious. I know. Run your hands through my hair. You're wealthy, too. I've always wanted to have lots of money. It's easy when you know where to look and who to spend your time with. Need my earlobes. Shucks! You mean Lil O me? Don't flatter yourself. Rub my neck. Rita is the pretty means to a perfect end. Rita, why you shrew devil you? You must have big ambitions. Of course. Does this excite you, wench? Oh, yes. Then you'll get a real bang when I build my empire. Stroke my shoulders. An empire? You'll need lots of Italians for that. You dumb girl! When they handed out brains, I bet yours came out in a shot glass. Fondle my chest. Oh, tell me more. Imagine thousands of imbecilic broads working for a pittance across the vast chain of hospitality houses. Ah, the smell of slavery and sweat. And that's only the beginning. Next will come the merchandising, my likeness on every underwear and contraceptive. My body parts molded for everyday use. There won't be a soul who doesn't wear me, or possess a piece of me. That's it! Simply brilliant! Yes, it's time. Not again. You want another toe massage? No, something better. It's time to get you off. Oh gosh, no! My bed. I'm going to sleep. I don't want to see your ugly mug when I wake up. I wonder how Rhea fits into this crazy plan. I'm not going to let him use her like that. I have to expose him. I wish Antonio's clothes were still on his body and that going through them was completely optional. Hmm, what's this? A little ID might shed light on things. Gotcha! Andretto? Congratulations, Al! You've earned your womanhood. Oh, you're back. All done? Yeah, and thanks a lot for bailing out on me. Real supportive. I'm not into the menage-a-trois thing. 
Besides, I figured you two needed some privacy. Whatever. Just w You're back in one piece, boy? Yeah, you sound surprised. Oh, never mind me, I'm just the inquisitive type. Stop into my office. Thanks for the job. I'm out of here. Leaving so soon? Well, you did manage our most difficult customer. I'm grateful. About the money. Well, times are tough, you know. <laughs> like our clientele, even when they're not. They're hard. Look, boy, personally, I'd love to pay you. You know I would, but I've got a family to feed. A huge family. With a long line. It's even bigger when extended. So I want you to have this instead. A souvenir to remember the Heifer Hospitality House by. An inflatable doll? Of me. The best one I've ever had. Make no mistake about it. He's got scores of them. And he scored with them all. <laughs> Take care now. Rita, I have something to show you. What's this? I hate to tell you this, Rita, but it looks like Antonio is a fraud. I don't understand. Where did you get this? Would you believe the hospitality house? Apparently, our prince partakes of more than just the sights. Andretto Bonabun? A gardener from Tijuana? How could he? How could I? How did you get that evidence, Ammo? Who are you? I'm the sheriff, and you're avoiding the question. Through a lot of stealth and, um, cunning. Ha! Huh. I've heard of going undercover, Ammo, but you take the cake. It wasn't like that. Not exactly. Now I know why they've dimmed the lights. <laughs> Rita, are you okay? I will be, but if I ever see him again... There you are, my sweet. I have done nothing this day save yearn for a, another night in your presence. How about a night in mine? <laughs> Such parochial humor. It meshes your credentials. I beg your pardon? How's your garden growing, Andy? What do you mean? Forgotten your little patch of Tijuana? Too busy sowing your seeds? Sprouted any empires yet? <gasps> it was you! I knew it! I, I, I can explain. Of course. Sheriff, would you mind taking his statement? As soon as he's in irons! I've done nothing wrong. You can't arrest me. I know the law. I am the law. And right now there's a jail cell with your name on it. If you get lonely, I'm sure Emmo can drag himself on over. Hey! You are making a mistake, all of you. I can't believe I fell for that con artist. He was too good to be true. If it wasn't for you, Al. I'm just glad I could help. Uh, Rita, this may not be the best time to ask, but may I have the honor of... Uh, 
Indian raid. No one go outside. Where's Antonio? Caught away, but don't worry. If they don't get him, the desert will. I came back to tell you, Miss Peralto. They're passing by your house this time. My father's things. No! Wait, it's not safe, Miss Peralto. motion outside seems to have stopped. I should check to see if Rita's okay. Sure, now that it's safe. You're so brave. Oh, be quiet. 